Hi, welcome to the Scale Finishes Flocking instructional video. Um, in this video, we are going to be using Gray Super Primer. We're going to be using our Golden Brown Flocking Kit, and we're going to be doing that on the carpeted areas of this interior piece. So before we start, I want to show what comes in the flocking kit, and then you can see what a value these are. So first and foremost, we have the Golden Brown Flocking, which comes in a three and a half ounce spice jar with the shaker lid, which makes application a breeze, and the jar will fit in a normal spice rack. We have the Golden Brown Flocking Paint Match, which is color coded to the flocking so it will help hide. You won't have any problems with the base color showing through. And if you want to, you can also use that, which as, as I'm going to do on this, you can use it to do the rest of the interior with, and then everything will be kind of color keyed together. We also have our two ounce bottle of slime free glue, which is water based, water cleanup. It's easy, it's nice, it's clear. So again, you don't have a color showing through your flocking that you don't want. And it's got an applicator brush. We also have, as we do with all of our paints, we have a little eyedropper to drop specific amounts of paint into your airbrush. And we have a spoon, so if you're worried about it not working or want to give it just a little bit of a try before you do it, you can experiment on the spoon. And then last but not least, we have our application tray, and that is for cleanup. Just set that in there, sprinkle it over, all your excess is going to get caught inside of there. When you're done, shake that all off, then just pour it right back into your jar, right back into your flocking jar, and you are good to go. And that is only available in the kit. So let's get this all put back together, and we'll head over to the paint area, and we'll get started on this project. Okay, so we are back at the paint area. Um, we are going to start this project out by spraying Gray Super Primer over everything we plan to paint with the Golden Brown. Priming is something you have to do with my paint. This is an automotive grade paint and it will craze plastic if you don't use a primer. Plus primers will even out your color coat and make everything just look better. So you always want to use a primer. So let me, uh, let me get my respirator on and we'll get started on this. Okay, so that's all you really need to do to prime it. You don't need it to be soaking in it, you just want it covered. And that looks good. That gray is going to look real nice underneath the uh, underneath the, uh, the, the brown color. That will give it a real nice base to get painted on. And so that will be our next step. Okay, now it's time to get the uh, flocking match golden brown color put on. Give it a quick shake, make sure it's all stirred up. Okay, build up the cup there, that up there. And while I was off camera, I cleaned out the airbrush so there's no more primer residue left inside of the cup or in the airbrush. You always have to do that between, between uses. 
Now on this, I plan to paint the whole top of that black, so I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to spray any of the gray on it. Well, not very much. Um, so I have to take the respirator off there for a second. I always wear a respirator when you're using this stuff. These are automotive paints and they are really chemical intense. So just protect yourself. Just be careful. Um, on that you can see that I just sprayed it. Um, no need to flood it on. Just make sure it's all coverage. And it's all good. That all the, There's no splotches like right here. Okay, there we go. Just a little touch up. That worked perfect. Okay, so you see how nice and see how nice and uh, solid that turned out. It's all one color. Everything looks nice. It's not splotchy. It's it's not it's not missing any spots. There's no dry spots. It's not running. It's not flooded or cracked or anything. So let's uh, touch this up for just a second. Okay, so that's all that. Um, now, I do want to say that our flocking match colors as well as our other interior colors are all base coats. And that means that they're designed to have a clear coat put over the top of them. Now in interior application, because you're not really touching them or doing much with them, you can just use the paint. But it is kind of fragile. You don't want to just leave base coats exposed. And with this being a base coat, if you wanted to, if you wanted to paint the seats the same color, make them look leather, you could spray a different clear coat over the top of them, different sheen, so it would turn out a little more glossy or a little more flat or however you wanted to tweak it to make it work. So same thing with, um, you know, if you're trying to mimic vinyl or leather or plastic or any, any, other, any other interior components, you can always change them up with a little bit of different sheen clear coat. Or you can just leave it like this. I personally like it like this. I've used it in interiors forever. It seems to work fine. So we'll let that dry for just a minute. I'll clean out the airbrush again and we'll head back over to the uh, build table and we'll get the flocking portion of it done. Okay, so we are back on the build bench and we are going to get the flocking done. So for this, we're just going to use the tray, the interior bottom, the slime free glue and our golden brown flocking. To start, we're gonna add the glue to the interior. And for this interior, all I'm doing is just this portion down here. You can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they've got it with a little texture to mimic the carpet. And I'm just following what they did. Just gonna put the glue on there. And the great thing about the slime free is it doesn't take a lot. It works very, very well for the for the flocking. So you really don't need this flooded on there. As you can also see, I masked off where the floor mats were at, where the little uh, toe pads were at for the for the carpeting, because I don't want those to be covered with the carpeting. I have to get a little too much in there. 
Now with this kit, you don't have to use the included brush. I do, because you can see how easy it is. But you could also use your own brush. You could you could use a Q-tip. You could kind of do it however you like to do it. That's that's the beauty of this. Is a lot of it's just up to you. Touch more to the back back here. Okay. And that is glued. So now there's no tack time, there's no messing with it. It's just time to add the flock flocking. As I said, this comes in its own applicator shaker. You can see how nice that comes out. Just make sure you put way more than you need on it. Okay. I like that. And then just take your finger and kind of press the flocking into where you want the flocking to be. this and knock it off and then kind of blow off the rest and you can see how the floor is walking on it now that looks really good gave me really sharp lines around the edge nothing got up on the pedals where I didn't want it yeah that looks really really good and then because we got the, the applicator pan That kind of got all over a little bit, but nothing major. And that is done. So that's it. That's how you do flocking. It's a uh, it's pretty simple, pretty simple process. I'm going to take this and clean it up, and I'm going to uh, do some finishing touches, and I'll show you how the complete interior looks. Okay, we have the interior completed now. I just wanted to show how good it looks. You've got the uh, you've got the coverage with the carpeting, and you can see how it color matches out with the rest of the interior. So then that's all the same. That's all the same color that we use. That's all the golden brown. That's the flock match gold. And you can see how it's got kind of a leathery sheen to it, so it looks like a nice leather interior. Um, that carpeting just adds a whole nother dimension to it. You can see how good it looks down there. It's a really subtle effect, but it's a really important one. And I've also used the flocking on seat covers for the old, um, the old school style sheepskin seat covers. I've used it as a dash pad cover. I've even done it around the steering wheel edge. <laughs> anything, really anything you can, you can imagine and you can put glue on, it'll stick to it. Um, it also works really well for uh, for audio speakers for the enclosures they do those in because they always have those in that gray carpet. It works great for that. But yeah, just use your imagination and you could do almost anything with it. I hope you liked the video, and I hope it's I hope it's good good learning tool, and I hope it helps you build build your models and properly apply the products. Thank you.